Hey boys and girls. So we are already on week five of our lesson. And today we are going to be doing an abstract collagraph. Okay, but before that, we are going to finish our print, our collagraph print from the one that we did last week. So last week, if you had a chance, you were supposed to do a practice collagraph where you were supposed to make a collagraph on a printing matrix and then today we're going to print it with crayon. So what you're going to need today is the same um, supplies as we used from last week but in addition to that we're going to use some um, crayons and I already peeled the paper off and got those ready. So let's find our Holograph from last week, which should already be dry. So here is the one that we worked on last week. It's already really nicely glued. And then we're going to put paper on top of it and do our rubbing. Okay, so any kind of paper would work. Okay, so I'm going to put my paper on top. And for the younger students, you might need a parent to help you hold this down while you do your rubbing, because sometimes it's tricky to hold it in place. All right, so ready to do my rubbing so I can see my relief sculpture underneath. And you might have to focus a little bit extra hard on some of the areas when you go around the edge, just so it really stands out. That shape turned out really nicely. There was the string and the twine that we put down. And then if you want to get a little fancy with it, you could switch colors. And this is turning out really cool. There was some of the foil, and oh, our little scrap paper there. So it's just kind of like doing a leaf rubbing or a stamp. Oh, this one really turned out good. So what I'm kind of starting to notice is that the paper and the foil is really looking good. So I'm really happy I did a practice paper before I went on to my actual artwork, which is gonna be this week, our abstract collagraph, and then next week, a realistic collagraph. Okay, so there's the outcome. All right, now I made, um, so for this week, we're going to do an abstract collagraph. So let's look again at what abstract is. So abstract only uses line, shape, and color. It doesn't look like anything realistic. Okay, so I drew a couple of abstract shapes here. And just, well, just regular shapes. Um, you can also use basic lines when you're cutting. Lines and shapes. And then realistic is going to be next week. We're gonna make a realistic collagraph where you have to make a picture that looks recognizable. And here are some easy ones below. Okay, so next we need our printing matrix. So I just have another piece of cardboard and like I said, this is just something that I found at my house. I use a lot of just cardboard snack and cereal box containers. These should be thin enough to cut through. Um, for the younger students, I even got away with doing one with a brown paper bag. So I still used a hard surface. But for these little squares, I just use a brown paper bag. Just a recycled brown paper bag, very easy. And I cut them into all these little interesting geometric shapes, glued them down. 
And actually, I'll show you how cool this rubbing came out. The Collagraph print. So here was the one print that I made of this matrix, which I love. I did it kind of like army colors, like green and um, brown. And then I did another one with some more bright colors, which this one's actually my favorite. And there's just like no way that I would have been able to capture all of the beautiful shading if I had just drawn triangles on a page like normal. It's just like I really love the beauty of the, doing the rubbing. And I mixed colors. I really love how that one turned out. Um, put that aside for now. Here is another example of a abstract holograph. This one for my younger students, this one was so easy to make. I just cut out paper strips and then just glued it in an interesting way. So this is a 100% an abstract design. Now I kept this pretty simple. I didn't use any foil or string or anything. Um, just to show you that it can be very simple or you can make it very complex. And here's how the rubbings turned out on this one. Also very interesting, and this one I incorporated three colors when I did the rubbing. This one I just did one color. Okay. And then one more example of another abstract work of art. I really like how this collagraph turned out. I just did some simple shapes, organic and geometric shapes, and some foil. So if you don't know what geometric and organic shapes are, geometric shapes are like shapes like squares, triangles, rectangles. They usually have like a hard angle. Okay, organic shapes are ones that are kind of made up and free form. You know, these ones like are like the, I kind of like, I don't know why I think of the ocean when I see these, just because they're like wavy and kind of made up. Okay, so these are the type of shapes we're gonna be cutting out for our abstract um, collagraph. Okay, all right, so let's get started. We'll put our definitions back up here. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. So I'm going to start with some of my organ. I'm sorry, my geometric shapes. So I might want to consider tra doing some tracing. So I just am using the lid for my glue here, and I'm going to trace this so I can cut it out. It might look nice to have some, you know more um, planned out shapes. All right, so I'm gonna cut this one out. And I'm gonna save my gluing for last because I want some time to plan out my composition. So a composition is the way an artist arranges things on a surface. Just like if you were making a collage or something, you wanna arrange everything before you commit to the actual design. All right, so I like these little circles. I'm gonna just place them down there for now. Not anything definite. I started cutting a little zigzag line. Remember we were talking about line and shape. So abstract is just line and shape. Okay. Here's a cool little Shape and line. And then why don't I just use some, let me use a little bit of foil because I loved the foil texture. It kind of looked almost like a marble look. All right. And then let's use some of this thin paper, scrap paper. Cut out some more shapes. I'll do some triangles. And then now let's do some organic shapes. So for these, I'm going to just 
see where my scissors go, kind of just making these shapes up. an artist his name is Henry Matisse and he was really really well known for doing lots of organic shapes when he when he made collage and I even think I can cut this little thing up and use this you know why not waste it or why not put it to waste you know we can use it all okay I think I'm actually running out of room but I might be able to um, stack some things up okay so I've got enough. Now I've got to think about my composition, the way I want it to be organized. Okay, I don't want to just throw everything on here. All right, so let's kind of just do some rearranging and organizing to make something look interesting. I kind of like what I had, but there's lots of different ways we can play around with the perspective and the angle of the way we look at things. I actually do kind of like that there. And once you're happy with what you have, let's start gluing. So you guys can use any type of white glue. I'm going to use Mod Podge. This stuff is really good because it's, um, it's kind of like white glue, but when it dries, it dries a little bit more smooth. All right, so let's glue this down. And then we're almost finished. Our first, or actually this would be our second assignment because the first assignment was the practice. And this one is the um, abstract collagraph. So we're putting these things down and that's creating a relief. Remember relief? What does relief mean? I'll give you guys a second to think about it. Remember it starts with an R. Relief means raised. So we're creating an interesting raised surface. And sometimes printmakers um, can do a different type of thing called a recessed. Recessed means when you carve into it and it indents, like it's, it's in. So like, let's say if I took a little scissor or knife or something and I started carving into my cardboard, that would be an etching or a recessed design. And a relief is a raised design. It's when it's popping out at you. I know that's kind of a lot for right now, but just some art vocabulary. Making my recessed design. Okay, I will be printing this one for my, uh, um, on our next week, just because I'm not going to wait for it to dry now, so I'm going to print it next time. But just for the sake of showing you all how it's done, I'm going to print one of my other ones. Just so you can see one more time how it's done. Nice and glued, nice and sturdy. Can't wait to rub over this with the crayons to see what it looks like. All right. All right, so let's use one of the other ones that I've created to do another rubbing. So what in your own time, when your printing matrix is dry, your collagraph is dry, you are going to put paper over top of it and do your rubbing. I hope you guys are kind of understanding how this is starting to go because it's super fun and the artists value printmaking because 
once you've got the printing matrix made, whether you carve it, whether you put layers on top of it, you can print it multiple times, okay? Just like think of a stamp. If you dip the stamp in the ink and you keep stamping it, it's like you've created your own stamp, okay? All right, so let's check this out. And this one was so easy to make. I just used a, pre a brown paper bag to make all these little triangle shapes. And then I just glued them on very nice and neatly. And I took attention to the details of the corners. You know, I didn't rush that part. And there is just endless possibilities. There's so many things that you can do shape-wise. I just picked triangles because I thought they were easy to cut out. It's a lot easier than cutting out circles and look how cool they look. It's just a really simple and beautiful quality to all of the shapes that are coming up. Might want to make some look darker than others just to add more interest. It's really important that you try not to move the paper while you're doing this. Unless you're trying to have it kind of have a 3D look, like it's moving slightly. Look how cool that is. All right. I hope I didn't miss anything, but um, next week we are already going to be on our week six and we'll be doing our realistic collagraph. So start thinking of some things that you might want to do for that. I'm already starting to think of some ideas. Um, so we'll revisit that next week. See ya.